hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'll be showing you some of the fragrances that are in my small but growing perfume collection and i'm gonna start off with a heavy hitter and that is none other than carolina herrera good girl the original version before we talk about anything else the smell the notes anything let's just give some appreciation to the bottle like this design is so nice whether or not i actually like this fragrance i would have gotten it anyway it just gives the vibe of a sexy classy woman the bottle actually gives a lot of what the scent gives it gives like a strong sexy confident woman that's what i get from this fragrance this is definitely a fragrance that you'll want to pull for if you're going out on a date or going for a night out in the town this yeah so the top notes are almond coffee bergamot lemon then the middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, orris, Bulgarian rose, tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere wood, cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. This is a fragrance that I really like and I would definitely see myself repurchasing another one should I finish this one. Well, when I finish this one. Um, yeah. Also, it stays on you long. So I'm going to follow that one up with a flanker and that is the blush version. And this one is also really nice. Again, loving the design of it. It has a similar profile to the original, but it's different. This one definitely gives like a more playful vibe. This is something that you'd pull for a brunch, a daytime vibe. Like it just gives like more free, relaxed. This is probably something that you'd wear on the weekend. So the top notes are bergamot and bitter almond. The middle notes are peony and lang lang. The base notes are vanilla and coumarin. These are both good fragrances. I would say you don't need to say either or, you could get both because they both kind of have a different vibe. If you have to choose one, I'd probably say go with the original version because this one does have better longevity. Now we can move on to Donna Born in Roma by Valentino. This stays true to the Valentino signature with the studs all over. This, this one was a love at first sniff, okay? I didn't hear like reviews or whatever and go seeking for this one. I was just out actually looking for a gift for my aunt and I smelled it and I fell in love with it. This, this is a beautiful amber floral fragrance for women. It's not as playful as the blush, but it just, it's just, it's nice. It's given like a, a pretty garden with some woody vibe to it. Uh, let me tell you the notes that are in there. So the top notes are black currant, pink pepper, bergamot. The middle notes are jasmine, jasmine sandbag, and jasmine tea. And the base notes are bourbon vanilla, cashmere on, and goic. And that bourbon vanilla on the dry down is beautiful like this is another scent that it's definitely popular but in my opinion not overhyped next up we have the light blue by dolce and i don't know why for the life of me i'm always calling this the dylan blue i'm always thinking of the versace dylan blue whenever i think of this dolce light blue so this fragrance is a super citrusy kind of fragrance this was gifted to me in christmas actually this was also gifted to me for the holidays. And fun fact, every perfume that I'll be reviewing today were all gifts. My entire collection has been gifts like, I have, you know, great people in my life. But anyways, back to this. This is a super citrusy fragrance. I wouldn't necessarily pull for this during the winter. I would more go for this during the summer. And also I'm gonna have to find a layering combo that really works well with this. And I think I have the perfect one in mind. I wouldn't really pull for a citrusy scent. Like I have a very particular scent and I know what I like. All of the fragrances that are in my collection have somewhat of a similar DNA. But anyway, let me give you the notes that are in there. So the top notes are lemon, apple, cedar, bellflower. The middle notes are bamboo, jasmine, white rose and the base notes are cedar musk and amber but like it's such a strong citrusy fragrance because the accords are citrus woody fresh fruity aromatic musky powdery green so it doesn't do a lot for me on its own but i think i have the 
perfect thing to combine it with so, since i already kind of alluded to it this is a fragrance this is a fragrance that i'm thinking that will go very well with it and this is the victor roth flower bomb this is one of the sweetest fragrances i have in my collection it it's called the flower bomb nectar and when you think of nectar that kind of sweetness that's exactly how sweet it smells and it's not like headache is sweet it's just perfectly curated perfectly put together sweet i mean as you can see i've been using it you know okay, let me tell you the notes that are in the fragrance so the top notes are gunpowder cassis and bergamot Mid the middle notes are osmanthus orange blossom and jasmine sandback the base notes are vanilla tonka bean benzoin patchouli i don't think it gets more floral than this fragrance so if you're that person that wants a sweet floral scent that's not gonna give you a headache this one the only other thing that i can compare this one to that's very sweet is the armani my way that one is also very sweet as of right now i only have two niche fragrances in my collection and one of them is the aqua di parma don't ask me why the cover looks like this it looks so dingy but whatever ignore that so i'll just take that off but this the aqua di parma this scent smells rich it smells expensive when i put this on it stays this is supposed to be like a floral woody musk kind of scent for females but i personally don't get a lot of the floral from it it's a nice scent but it's more like a feminine woody musk kind of scent and i like it it's great to like layer with other fragrances or even by itself it just gives a different kind of vibe you know what i mean this i'd also say is a nighttime fragrance because it's very strong and it stays on your clothes it's uh, just a scent that will smell different you won't necessarily go out and smell like anyone else when you're wearing this but if you're going for super floral this is not the one but it is it is supposed to be floral but i don't get that but i like the fragrance nonetheless let me tell you the notes that are in there so the notes are iris star anise bergamot mandarin orange orange and that's crazy because i'm not getting the citrus in this you know like how i was getting the light the the high citrus from the light blue even though orange and lemon gives two different vibes because the mandarin orange and the orange itself it's probably like a sweet kind of vibe but i digress now for the middle notes tuberose orange blossom lang lang hibiscus cedar mimosa and for the base notes it's just vanilla and amber and that's why when it dries down you don't get too much floral it's let's just... talk about one of my definite top threes and this is aventus creed it's supposed to be more of a fruity feminine fragrance and if you want to smell expensive if you want to go out not smelling like the average folk aventus creed and i only have a little bit left this i've also had for a while and i try to baby like this i don't just be putting my creed on to go anywhere like if i put my creed on for you you special okay this is like date night kind of vibe also i wouldn't necessarily wear this fragrance during the day this is uh, i don't know what else to tell you except if you want to smell rich if you want to smell good if you want to smell different this one it's not very floral so it does is is not like in line with everything else i have like most of the other things i have it doesn't have that dna but it stands on its own okay so yeah <laughs> all right now let's get back to two that i actually really like one of them is ysl mon Paris. i love this fragrance i really really like it this was not a love at first sniff but listen after two seconds of spraying this on baby baby you have nothing but good things to say it smells very unique it just has a very unique profile to it it's fruity but it's not like overly fruity um let me tell you the notes that are in there so the top notes are strawberry raspberry pear orange tangerine bergamot caloon the middle notes are peony jasmine sambuck jasmine chinese jasmine datsura orange blossom the base notes are indonesian patchouli leaf patchouli 
white moss, vanilla, ambroxan, moss, cedar. Like it's the fragrance pyramid is intense. And that's exactly how the fragrance smells. Also, I find that this fragrance will last on you. It's, it doesn't go anywhere. It, do you hear all those fruits that were in there? This, I'd say this is a good balance for daytime and nighttime, but leaning more towards nighttime just because it's so intense. And finally, from my collection is Miss Dior. This one was a blind buy, but it was love at first sniff. This is one of the most powdery fragrances I've come across like ever. It's so powdery, but it's not like basic powdery. It's like powdery and bougie, like, you know? <laughs> so let me tell you the notes that are in there. So the top notes are Iris, Peony, Lily of the Valley, and the middle notes are apricot, rose, peach. The base notes are vanilla, musk, tonka bean, benzoin, and sandalwood. This is an amber wood kind of floral fragrance and it is like the perfect combination of floral and powdery. If you like powdery, don't even, you don't even have to think if you like this. you love it. So get it. As you can see, I'm a perfume girly. I have, I think, one toilet in my collection, but I generally just go for perfumes. And I have, I have two perfume mists um, from Sol de Janeiro. I really like them. I have a review up on the Churros of 59. If you'd like to see that, go check that out. I'll link the video down below. And I also have the number 68. I'll probably give a review on that at some point. So I borrowed two fragrances from my mom's collection to see how they perform and if I like them and whether or not I'd want them in my collection. So one of them is the Burberry Weekend. And this is supposed to be like a floral scent, but it doesn't give me a lot of floral. Like it doesn't give me a floral vibe at all. I get a little bit of floral Overall, let me tell you what the notes in this fragrance are. It, the top notes are Minoit, Mandarin Orange, Sage. The middle notes are Nectarine, Blue Hyacinth, Peach Blossom, Rose Hip, Iris, Red. I don't know what that is. Violet Root. And the base notes are Musk, Sandalwood, and Cedar. I think I smell a lot of the base notes more. Overall, I'm not getting a lot of the fruity from this fragrance or floral. I don't know what, but there's something about it that just isn't really doing it for me. So I probably would pass on that one. The, the other one is the Burberry Her. The Burberry Her. <laughs> this is a floral, fruity, gourmand. Like, it is a very dynamic fragrance. And this particular Burberry was made by... Francis Cardigan, that is the nose behind the infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. So I kind of have high expectations for it and it didn't disappoint. The first time I sprayed it on, like what immediately came to my mind was like quiet luxury. Like quiet luxury is what comes to my mind when I think of this. I can see this drying down to be like a skin scent. I really like this one and she has a travel size to it so... But let me tell you the notes that are in there. So the top notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin, lemon. The middle notes are violet, jasmine. The base notes are musk, vanilla, cashmere, woody notes, amber, oak moss, patchouli. And Mr. Curtijan did not disappoint on this one. This one just gives like, it oozes quite luxury. I could see this drawing down to be like a beautiful skin scent. Uh, I don't know about the longevity of it as yet, but I'm probably going to take the travel size and experiment with it a little bit. And you'll see in future videos how that performs. And yeah, I'll probably do another collection update in a few months. But what are some of your favorites?